Hi everyone, welcome to day one of your summer challenge. We are gonna be doing a deep connection total body Pilates class today. So take everything at your own pace. We're gonna be really working from the inside out, working strong from top to toe. And let's jump in and get started. So we're gonna start all of these routines in this series the same way and end them the same way, just so you have that nice familiar start and finish. So let's come and warm up, starting at the back of your mat and standing. Feet hip distance apart, parallel, so toes tracking forwards. Soft knees, just gaze up and start your practice. Have a nice just moment to set that intention to move and to be present for this time on your mat today. Well done for joining me. So let's start just by reaching the arms up, taking them inhale, exhale, and then just start to draw the elbows down to the sides as you open through your chest. Take it easy to start with. Reach the arms back up. We're gonna roll down. Just let your arms start to move. Let your head drop down. Roll down over the legs. Good. Finding that lift up and over. Make sure you don't rock back into the heels. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start to rebuild from the tailbone up, bone by bone. And bring in your head up last. Let's pick the pace up. We'll do two more the same. Arms reach, just breathe. Open the elbows, lift through the chest. Maybe a little bit of extension if you feel ready. Reach the arms back up. Nod the chin, just let the shoulders feel nice and released as you roll down, warming up through the spine. Keep those knees soft, let the head really go. Inhale, exhale, peeling up from the tail all the way to the head, bone by bone. One more time, we're going to add on arms, reach, breathe. Draw the elbows, lift like you're trying to pull yourself up to the ceiling, to the sky. Reach the arms back up and we round down. We're going to stay over the legs this time and just going to bend and stretch through the knees. So let everything be nice and loose for a moment through the arms and the head. Inhale as you bend the knees. Exhale as you stretch. Inhale as you bend. Exhale as you stretch. So we're just warming up through the ankles, the knees, the spine. You might feel this nice stretch through that lower spine. Gorgeous. And then let's just take our hands and knees down to the mat and we'll find ourselves on our all fours. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and we'll just take a nice cat and cow. Again, just warming up nice and steady. Rounding from the tail to the head, a nice even curve. Let's start to focus a little bit on our deep centering muscles. And then just round the other way, extending the spine. And again, so you don't have to sort of tighten too much through the abdominals, but just start to find that connection, gentle navel to spine connection, and extending through into a gentle arch, drawing the shoulders wide and back. Good, one more, we round again here. Still just getting into our bodies. And we extend through as we inhale, good. Let's find neutral, tuck the toes under. We're gonna take a little hover. So find your center. Feel the ribs draw in towards your trousers, towards your pelvis. Lift the knees off with control. Then start to straighten the legs, sending the hips up and back into what looks like a downward facing dog, but it's a bit narrower. Then we'll come back to the mat, keeping the spine neutral or back to a hover and we'll just continue to go between the two. So we'll go through the heels, pushing back, stretching your legs and then back to the hover, just off the mat. Good, just four more, we inhale, exhale. So you could always rest the knees down, sort of level, um, a little level below or if you want a little bit of a level up, then just keep the knees hovering off. You've got three and you might even feel a little stretch through your calves as you move here. You've got two. You're breathing. You've got last one. You're going to stay in that lifted position, that up stretch. Your hips are lifting tall and you're going to take a little walk through your heels. One heel presses down and then this is the End of the little warm up here. So we'll just start to walk our feet forwards and we're gonna come down to find ourselves on our back to begin the main section of this routine. So gently come down, 
Feet are going to be on the mat here. We're just going to let ourselves settle, find in a connection. Maybe take a few deep breaths as you let everything settle. I can see up into the beautiful trees. So just be nice and present where you are in your space. We're going to do some nice curl ups here. So we're going to reach the arms back. Hands come behind the head. And we're going to take some gentle curl ups. So maintain a neutral through your hips and pelvis. Lift your head, nod your chin, exhale, curl. So just take it where you feel comfortable. If you're just getting back into a practice, then don't take it too high. And just use your breath. If this feels too much already, then you can always just connect with your breathing. Breathing out and breathing in. Good, we're going for about eight. So we've got five. Keeping those feet down on the floor. We've got four. We've got three. Using your breath. Try and keep your glutes relaxed. Two. Just gazing towards the thighs. Hold the last one. Now we're going to do a little sort of side to side action. So you're going to imagine that your right elbow is going to touch your right hip. Come back through the center, I'm just off the mat, and then left elbow to left hip. And I try and keep my knees really still, which is quite hard. So we're just doing this kind of side to side action here. It's not an oblique twist, it's different. It's a sort of side bending action, a lateral flexion to each side. Good, so getting into your waist muscles here. Still keeping that pelvis still with those lower abdominals. You've got four, you've got three, you've got two. Try not to bunch your toes. You've got last one. Bring it to the center. Can you curl a little bit more and then rest the head down? Beautiful. Let's lift our legs to tabletop position or level one, a lower level, I'm gonna sort of say level one, level two for, for the principle of these routines. So level one, you can keep your feet down. Level two, you can bring those legs up to tabletop. So we go one leg and then we go the other leg coming up. And then let's bring knees and feet together just to feel that real deep connection, the theme of this class. We're gonna do a nice slow hundred. So if you are curling up, you're gonna curl up, nod your chin. If you want to keep the head down, that's fine as well. Everyone, we're going to reach those arms forwards, reach through the fingertips, try and touch the front of your room, your space. We breathe in, the arms slowly come up. We breathe out, we press down either side of you. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze the legs together, exhale. Well done. And we do five more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. If you need to reset, that's fine. Inhale, exhale, last two. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, and exhale. Hands come back behind the head, and we rest down. Oof. Those simple abdominal exercises really work. Let's bring our feet down to the mat, take them back to hip distance apart, and bring the arms alongside the body for a little bridge. Now we're gonna add a heel raise. We bridge up, so that should feel quite nice after those abdominal, of, after that abdominal work. Lift the heels up, lower the hips down, and lower the heels down. So it's that little sequence. We go hips, heels, hips, heels. Hips up, heels up, hips down, heels down. So it's a bridge, focusing on our alignment, our breath. And as we've already, oh, I got confused there. As we've already been working our center, I want you to still keep that knitting together of those upper ribs, those bottom floating ribs as well, sliding down. Good. Excellent. And then this is a great one to focus on that ankle alignment, really strengthening our glutes and hamstrings and our ankles. Four more, four. Good, and three. We're connecting for day one, two. Last one, let's hold it here and just keep going with the heel raises, up and down. So we're looking for this long diagonal line, knees, hips and shoulders elevating and lowering the heels, 
keeping that tennis ball distance between the knees and the heels as the arms, really using your backs of your arms and your shoulder blades into the mat to feel this deep connection. So we're active through the whole body, but without tension. Eight more, eight, squeezing your glutes. Seven, together. Six, five, well done, keep going, four, and three, maybe feeling that work in the backs of those legs. Two, and one, and we lower those heels down. Gorgeous, relax for a moment, maybe let the knees just sway left to right, and we're gonna go for a little variation of the single leg stretch now. Good, so let's keep our head down on the mat and the arms down by the side, and let's continue this theme of really pressing the arms into the floor and the backs of the shoulders so we feel quite active and alert through the upper body and sort of pressing down, and so we're not just like hanging out, that there's some activeness, like you're trying to push yourself away from the floor. Lift the legs up to tabletop, if you can here, and we're gonna just take some single leg stretches, so keeping them hip distance apart. We exhale right leg, Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, left leg nice and simple. Simple? Simple. <laughs> Inhale, bring it back. And we go right and in and left and in. Lovely. You're really direct into the toes, the tips of the toes. And you can take that leg as low as you feel safe to keep a nice neutral spine and a nice connection through the front line of the body. You've got four. You've got three, you've got two, and you've got one. Nice, sticking with this level, or we're gonna nod the chin and curl up into a curl up. So keep the arms alongside the body this time. Little nod of the chin, lift the head, the neck, tips of the shoulders, reach into those arms, still active. We do another eight, seven, six, five, Four, reach into the tips of those toes. Three, two, one. Bring it back to center. Draw the knees in, rest down. Good, relax your throat, your neck. Maybe turn the head left to right. Hopefully you're feeling connected already. Good. And we'll place the feet back down. We're gonna go into a little march in the bridge now. So we keep working through the hamstrings and the glutes as we push the hips up. Good, we rise up onto the heels, onto the toes, sorry, so the heels lift. And now we're gonna see if we can just push into the left ball of the foot as the right leg marches in and we change. So we're going from working that front body to that back body here. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, good. So if this is a little bit too much, level one, you can just do the heels. Just change, alternate through the heels, just like we did in that mar in that um, walking out in your downward dog, the warm up. Or heels are lifted and you're going for the march through the legs. You're really bringing one leg up and in towards you. And the idea is you keep that pelvis stable and level. So what we don't want is one hip drop in as you lift. So you wanna keep that stability. And let's keep reaching into the arms. Good, you've got four. You've got three. You've got two. You've got one. Gorgeous work, everyone. Let's bring those heels down, bring those hips down. So let's go back to working front body. As you can see, we're just gonna keep alternating here and between working front body, back body. So we're gonna lift those legs up. Again, we're gonna bring the feet and knees together this time. And we're gonna do some little tail lifts. So I'm reaching down through my arms. My legs are just gonna come a little bit towards me. I'm gonna let my pelvis tip and then lift the tail up and back to center, up and back to center. So it's a preparation for the rollover. So just lifting that tail, bring it down. Don't worry if you're not coming up very high. Just try to avoid swinging the legs. So we're really using the lower back flexion, the massaging of that lower back down into the mat to curl the tail up. 
quite hard to talk with this one. Let's go four, three, good, two, one. Excellent. Now we're going to keep the feet and, and knees together as we bring the legs down. We're going to raise the heels up, spread the toes. We're going to come back into that bridge. Oh, good. So it feels nice to stretch that lower back out. Feel that long line open through the hips. And we're gonna do a little butterfly knee action here. So we're just gonna open and close the knees. So we start to work into those inner thighs and those hamstrings and glutes here. Press into those arms. Yes. Breathe. Keep those ankles and heels together. If you can, you've got eight, seven, six, nice and symmetrical. Five, four, three, squeeze them right the way back together every time. Two, you've got it guys. Last one, let's hold it there, squeeze everything together, push the arms down, 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 and lower the hips, lower the heels, relax again. Good, let's let those knees just gently sway left to right, into that gentle pelvic rotation. And we're gonna flip around to a new little section of the class, a little series as we come off our back. So just gently come around. We're gonna come into a press up position. So level one, you can be in your box press. We're gonna do a little bit of work into the arms because this is a, a class working from top to toe. Or level two, you're gonna come down into your modified Plank, if you wanna go level three, um, you can do a full plank if you're up for that challenge today. So I'm gonna try level two. The triceps that presses are gonna be nice and, and, and small, like mini little ones. So we're gonna start with eight. So let's work on that center. Let's come through into whatever position you choose. Long neck, try not to let the head drop through the connection of the center. Squeeze the legs together. We're gonna to go eight, nice and small, seven, six, five, four, and we want those elbows nice and narrow, three, two, and one. Stretch the arms, let's keep moving. Toes tucked down, you're gonna come into plank. We're gonna take a slow knee fold in, and back, and in, and back. So we're just leveling everything up here, good. In and back and in and back. If this is too much, just hold your plank or your half plank. You've got four. You've got three. So you can always just hold a half plank. You've got two. You've got one. You're going to come back to that press up position wherever you are. One more little set of eight presses, just small. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm feeling it. Four, these tiny movements. Three, two, we're gonna feel so connected for the rest of this series. Last one, tuck the toes, maybe find that front support plank position. You're holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, maybe knees down, two, or you're in that full plank. Last one, and just rest back to your heels for a moment. We're gonna keep moving. We're coming onto our forearms, our elbows now. So knees under the hips, drop down onto those forearms. Just make sure that you're still nice and connected through the upper body. Right foot's gonna reach back, long to the tips of those toes. Maintain the front body connection as we lift that back leg up, working into the hamstring glutes, and we tap it down. Breathing out. Breathing in. So this feels like a quite a nice little hip opener as well. Through that right front of thigh. Five. You're breathing. Four. Try not to lock the knee, but definitely keep the leg straight. Three. In the middle of your mat. Two. We hold it for one. Can you lift it a little bit higher and little circles for eight, really small. Seven, six, just the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse the circles, eight. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Can it go a little bit higher without losing that connection? And bring the knee in, other leg, left leg reaches out. Retake, re regain that connection and retain it. And we lift the leg up and down. Gorgeous. Really great work, guys. So take a moment just to breathe here. We've been moving and working strong. Five more. Try not to tense those shoulders. And four. Nice long leg, touch the back of the room. Three, two. On the last one it holds, can it lift a little bit higher? We circle eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We reverse eight, seven, six. So nice to hit the little chirpy birds. Oh. Gorgeous, isn't it? Hopefully you've got some nice nature where you are as well. And then we bring that leg all the way in. And well done, everyone. Take another, just sit back towards the heels. We're gonna work into our um, back muscles a little bit more now. So slowly come onto your front. I'm just gonna check, I'm not gonna squish the microphone so you guys can hear me well. So I'm just gonna slowly come down. And we're gonna work kind of like your, your um, upper back. Uh, like your curl up but the reverse and if you can you're going to bring your arms with you but if not if it's too much level one just keep the hands down so level one you keep your hands and elbows down you lift your head neck and chest into that back extension just the upper back and you come down level two you're going to bring arms as well it's actually so tough to work into the back like that so we go up and down and up and down. Now try to keep a little bit of length through your lower back. Good. Keep going. So maybe you keep the arms down. Keep the legs relaxed. Remember, no tension in the lower back. Four more. Three, I'm gonna add the arms again. Two. Now on the last one, just like we did in the warm up, you're going to draw the elbows wide as if you're trying to squeeze something between your shoulders. Try not to tense the lower back, lengthen the lower back, feel that upper back working. Good. Bring it elbows back in. Come down. Just two more the same. Come up. So you can do this with your hands on the floor. Just slide the elbows wide. Maybe they're off. Imagine you're darting out back together and down. Let's do it one more time. We come up, I love work in the back. It just makes you feel so tall afterwards. And we pull the elbows wide as if we're darting, soaring. We're getting more space in our backs, in, our, in those, between those vertebrae. We bring the arms back together and we come down. Well done. You're gonna wanna just stretch that back out. So come into a lovely child's pose now. Bring your knees wide, your feet together, sit back, reach your arms forwards or maybe hands under the head and just take a moment to reset. Maybe have a little hydration break, just very small little sips of water and just ease into that back as you sit back towards those heels. We're gonna come into a high kneeling position. So if you do want any extra padding under your knees, then make sure you get that now. So we're coming into high kneeling and we're going to repeat a little bit of what we did when we were first laying on our backs. So we're going to bring our hands behind our head and we're going to do some curl up and a little bit of extension here and then a little bit of side to side. So tailbone is lengthened, we're lifted. We're going to curl the upper back. So you keep the hips pushing forwards. You come up and into a little extension. Feels lovely. Good. And we go again. Down. So keep the feet pushing down into the floor. We come up. We lift the chin. Head presses back into the hand. Good. So much to think about isn't there with Pilates, but don't get too stressed out about it. Just move. Stay present. 
And remember, you're getting more aware of your body every time you come on the mat. Good. So this class in particular is not necessarily about big movements, how much movement, um, how big you can do things. It's more small, little connections. Good. Now we're going to go side to side. So like we did again on that mat, we go elbow towards the hip and up. Elbow towards the hip and up. So it's keeping the length on both sides of the waist as we move side to side. Good work. Really lovely getting into those intercostal muscles in between the ribs. Continue to press the hips forwards and push the feet down. Active press, use the floor to help you. Good, now we're gonna take it over towards the left. Hands gonna come down, you're gonna step your right leg out. Good, keep pressing your hips forwards, lift your chest open. We reach through that outside leg and we lower. We reach through that outside leg and we lower. I want you to prioritize connection to front body. Don't prioritize how much you lift that leg. That will happen over time. Let's prioritize connection here. Five, four, three, two, long neck, one. Gorgeous, slide the knee in, we pick ourselves up hands come back behind the head. Good, back to that curl up and extension here. Remember, it's small, just the upper body, not a big movement. Restack, lift open, push the hips forwards. Gorgeous. Use your breath, exhale to curl forwards. Inhale to open. Exhale, curl forwards. Inhale, open. Now we're going to go side to side again. Again, lengthening over and over and over. Good. Into that waist. Try not to lean back. And we take it over to the right. Hand comes down. Left leg reaches out. We're a star opening tall. We lift that outside leg up and down. Keep pushing the hips forwards. Good. For five, for four, for three, feel nice and free. For two, reach for one, the leg comes back in. We pick ourselves up from the middle, hands come back behind the head, reach the arms open and release them down. Give your shoulders a little roll. We're gonna flow a little stretch and this is what's gonna end each of your routines now. So it'll come up again, just like the warm up did. Let's come back to our all fours. We're gonna start with that cat and cow. Well done, everyone. So round again through the spine. That should feel really nice after that connection mat. So let's free up the body a little bit. Really breathe. Let's do a few circular cats. Just whatever feels good. And then again, we're going to just tuck the toes under behind us. We're going to come into that hover, into that up stretch, maybe a bit wider now. So take the hands forwards, take the feet further back, maybe a bit wider. Imagine you're trying to split the mat apart. Press out and down through those heels. Soft knees and see if you can reach the sitting bones up a little bit higher. Good, from here, right leg is gonna reach up and behind you. Keep the shoulders square. Good, that right leg is gonna come through. And if you can, into a little pigeon variation stretch. You're gonna bring that right knee towards the right wrist or hand, slide the left leg back, lift the chest, 
and then melt down onto your forearms. Or maybe rest it onto your hands, resting your head fully down. So if this stretch doesn't feel good for your knees or just not feeling great for you today, then you can do more of a pretzel stretch on your back, bring in that leg across, and then just coming into that figure of four pretzel stretch that hopefully you've done with me at some point. And so, or you're gonna be in this pigeon and maybe a little rock to keep active. Tiny, tiny breath, uh, movement, big breath, tiny movement, <laughs> not tiny breath, no. Okay, we're gonna take it back through. So bring your hands there, just bring yourself back through to your all fours. And we'll find that downward facing dog again. So nice and wide, maybe a bit wider this time with the hands and the feet. Nice big stretch back. And then this time left leg reaches back all the way up. Gorgeous, bring it through to a pigeon or that figure of four on your back if you prefer. And just come down onto the forearms for a moment of release. Listen to any sounds around you, whether they're sounds that you enjoy or sounds that might be irritating you in some way in your, in your home environment. Just breathe through it and just be present and listen to your breath. Good. And then let's make our way through to a seated position, however you want to finish your practice today. Maybe coming onto your knees or into a cross-legged position, feeling tall and really feeling that Pilates connection from those lovely Pilates exercises. Just let your arms settle, lift your chin, lift the top of your head, lift through your waist, Relax your shoulders. Take one final deep breath with the arms sweeping up. Maybe bring the hands together and just draw them towards the middle of your chest. And just feeling really grateful for your body, your mind, your soul, and the time you've taken today on your mat. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed the first practice of this summer series and we will see you tomorrow for day two. Emily is going to be joining me and we're going to have lots of fun. See you then. Bye.